Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Uh, I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Golf here at the Minnetonka Tour Van. We've got the G425 Hybrid from Pink. Thomas has it in his hand. We're going to do a little bit of testing, get some feedback, and kind of discuss the, the technology involved with this hybrid and why it's going to be such a winner for golfers in 2021. So, um, Thomas, first of all, I just want to get your impression on the look because uh, I think the hybrids especially and, and the fairy woods, uh, you know, they've had that tur those turbulators in the past on there that Ping has used to kind of increase club head speed. Uh, they've kind of noticed that it didn't make a humongous difference with the fairy woods and hybrids, so they've kind of taken those off of the crown with the G425 series in the fairy woods and the hybrids. And to me, anyway, looking at it, it looks like a very clean look now without those on there and still have that matte finish on top, which again, I'm a big fan of. It's the most noticeable thing with Ping this year with the G425 with the fairy woods and the hybrids yeah. is we're missing those turbulators. Yeah. So although those turbulators are gone, uh, they were there to help with alignment aid with, with the yeah, fairy woods and the hybrids, not so much kind of aerodynamics. But the three dots for sure that they've got on here is going to still help with alignment, getting the ball in the middle of the club face for you there as well. I personally like this look better. I think it looks cleaner, like you mentioned. And he's mentioned it's got that, that nice matte finish to it as well. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a very, very good looking hybrid there mm -hmm. as well. So I'm excited to test the G425 hybrid and just kind of talk about the differences and the playability with it. Mm -hmm. um, adjustable options we've got with yeah. it as well. And also, nice thing with this year is there's actually a seven hybrid available. Yeah. So those players that have slower swing speeds or need, need a little extra forgiveness, instead of playing mm -hmm. a six or a seven iron, you have got all the way up to a seven hybrid now with the G425 yeah. hybrids. Yeah, so that's the nice thing about, especially ping hybrids, right? They're playable uh, for really any player that would, that would need one. Uh, that wants the launch and the forgiveness and the ball speed out of a hybrid. Th these clubs are playable for any type of player. You can go from a moderate to slower swing speed player or even high swing speed players that maybe just need more spin uh, you know, on their clubs. That's where a hybrid can come into play. So um, we can hit some shots here, Thomas. We can get your feedback and then we can talk more about some of these uh, different technologies, materials, et cetera, in this club. Sounds good. Before I hit some shots, I do ask if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. We've got plenty more other great content coming your way in the future here. I'm excited to test the G425 hybrid out. All right, let's see what you have, Thomas. All right. Well, it was italicized. We need to roll with that one. You can roll with that one to start, yeah. All right. Yep. Well, Thomas, I think the uh, the sound is one thing I noticed there. It's, it seems pretty muted. Uh, it doesn't seem very loud, which I th I've noticed in testing the fairy woods, I thought there was kind of a loud sound. I feel like this is different. It's a little bit more muted, which, I mean, th that depends on the player. Some people like you know a louder sound, and some people like it softer, but I just noticed a softer sound there. Yeah, the, the G425 fairy woods, and even the crossover seemed a little bit louder. You're right, this definitely sounded just a little bit more muted off, off the face there mm -hmm. as well. So it's kind of interesting. We also did some testing with the crossover. I was carrying the ball around about 240 when I was testing that. So that was a three crossover. This is just around about that 240 carry yeah. distance there again. But just in a different, just in a different size, essentially yeah. it's going to be a little more forgiving than the crossover. Yeah. Might fly a little higher, so we noticed that last one was 115 feet in the air. When I was testing the crossover, I really had to really kind of push it to try and get the ball up in the air at 115 feet in the air. Right, yeah, so, so that's the kind of the difference. These are the two sort of options you have, right, to bridge that gap between irons and fairy wood. And uh, the hybrid is just gonna be the one that's easier to get in the air, right? The easier to, to hit that 100 feet mark that you like to, to hit, 100 feet in the air. The hybrid's gonna be the easier one to get there, uh, and then it's gonna spin a little bit more too. So it kind of depends on what the player is looking for. Um, and so, Thomas, you're probably gonna spin the hybrid a little bit more. Uh, yep. Which and I, don't, I know maybe at this part of your bag you specifically won't need more spin, but I know the you know a lot of players out there would like more spin and would like the ball higher in the air, which is where the hybrid comes into play. Yeah, for this. yeah, especially for you know it depends whether it's a three hybrid, a four hybrid, five hybrid, maybe even up to seven hybrid, depending on the player. So it's important to work with a fitter to make sure you mm -hmm. figure out kind of what height, what spin rate you should be getting out of your hybrid, and compare it to an iron. 
Mm. A lot of times we'll notice that a hybrid's gonna be easier to hit than right. an iron. So a lot of times we like to say, hey, grab that four iron, and grab that four hybrid. Let's test the numbers. Yeah. Most of the time the hybrid wins out. But yeah. yeah. Most of the time. Well, yeah. let's, uh, let's see what else this thing has, because I know we can get back, we can get further into some of these uh, features and technologies as well. Sounds good. I hit that really well. Yeah. Yeah. That was crushed. That was, that was hit really well there. So it's interesting having just, you know, put together and, and filmed the, the crossover video that we did. And then having this here, I know kind of the numbers to base off of. That carry number there is farther than any of the crossover ones I remember. Um, total distance is pretty similar though. So you're seeing here is just a higher launch and maybe a little bit more stopping power with this club, which you, you should expect given center of gravity a little bit farther behind the face. You've got uh, you know a high density tungsten back weight there in the hybrid that you don't have in the crossover, which is really helping that ball get in the air. Yeah, it's a little bit more spin, a little more height. It's gonna give me a little bit better stopping power. Talking about other technologies with this hybrid too, so there's two really important things to remember with the fairy woods and the hybrids. We've got mm -hmm. the face wrap, and we also have the spin consistency. Mm -hmm. So those last two shots so far, the spin rate's been about, within about 200 RPMs yeah. of each other. So if you do, so the nice thing with spin consistency is if you catch a little low on the face, catch a little high on the face, that spin rate's supposed to stay pretty consistent yeah. across the board to give you some pretty consistent carry distances across the board there as well. And then the face wrap, nice thing with that is it covers kind of the entire face which essentially expands the area that of where you the can hit it on. Yeah, sweet spot. So sweet mm -hmm. spot's larger. Yeah, so, yeah is, there's that kind of de-lofted little bit on the bottom of the club face which will help when golfers maybe miss uh, on the lower side of the club face. You know, a lot of times that spin jumps way up when that happens. That design, that face wrap design is supposed to kind of diminish that possibility. So. The result is just more consistency all around, right? And consistency and forgiveness seem to be the theme for paying every generation of clubs that they have. So uh, I think we're seeing that already with the hybrid. Yeah, those two and then in com combination with the Mirage and Steel face as yep. well, it's a hot club face. Yeah. So yeah, it's forgiving, but it's hot as well. Yeah. So you, as we saw that as one you there, can see there I mean, that was pretty good. That ball speed's pretty remarkable right there. Mm -hmm. Very good. There we go. That one I didn't quite catch, but what happened was the spin rate kind of stayed down. Yeah. Which was, that's a good example right there. So notice pretty, pretty good numbers right there. Right. Still I mean, high. If you're telling me that's a miss, I mean, my word, <laughs> like, look yeah. at how, I think nearly carried 250 still. Uh, and so, I mean, I'm just gonna bring this up really quick, the, the maps. I mean, you would guess maybe that this one would be your, your miss, so to speak, but these ones are, you know, your miss actually spun less. So that's kind of the, the advancements now in technology is right, is kind of the, in general, per, per, uh, in general improving uh, performance on miss hits. And, and in, that, in this case, in terms of pure distance, when you actually lose spin and you miss it, it actually goes further. Um, so that's an example of that there. So I mean, G425, that's, that's, that's pretty remarkable. Forgiving, very, very forgiving, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Why don't we talk about that one? There's another one, <laughs> another example of that, right? Yep. That spin really dropped. You that's, must, so where did that one catch on the club face? I don't know, let's, let's take a look on the screen and mm -hmm. see where that was. I feel like that pretty solid. Ah, it's toe. See, that's low too. Yeah. And that's kind of exactly a little bit lower on the yep. toe as well, which toe should generally kind of lower the spin, but then, um, you know, what has been happening, uh, you know, what's the, the general trend with equipment the last few years is when you hit it lower on the face with a metal wood driver hybrid, that spin increases by, you know, potentially a thousand RPM, but probably in that 500-ish range. Now with this new wrap that Ping has, it's actually lowering spin, um, at least in, in this example here, which is kind of incredible. Let's pull up those first other, other shots that we hit too. I'm, I'm curious now, because that was the lowest spinning one that I hit. So you got these two are almost no, identical. No, those are kind of your lower spinning ones. And then what are the other two? So this one's so, closer to the center, Yeah. right? And then this one's back over there. So, yeah. I mean, so you're getting, your, your, your spin is staying lower almost, gen, a general trend, right? Yeah. Uh, when you kind of keep it lower on the face, the spin's almost down, which is not w the typical, but it, this is certainly better. I mean, if your spin stays down when you miss lower on the face, that's gonna improve your carry distance 
Um, and it's going to straighten your ball flight, too. If the, spin, the ball's spinning less, it's only going to fly straighter. Yeah, I definitely feel like I was not catching it in the middle of the face, as we can see slightly on, on the toe side there as well. Um, it's really interesting how the spin rate stays down. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm going to try and maybe hit one in the middle of the face and see actually what happens here next. might be a little more challenging. <laughs> but <laughs> A little more ball speed there. That had to be close to the middle. That was a little bit higher spin there as opposed to those ones on the toe. Yeah, so that one so was a little bit closer. Yep. Yeah. A little bit closer, but uh, I, I am very impressed with the sound of that club. I mean, impre I shouldn't say impressed. I should say it's, it's something that you notice in comparing the other ones, right? It's a softer sound, and I think it's, I know there's a lot of players that prefer a softer sound, and they're really going to like that, uh, that noise, that that, or I guess lack of noise that comes from that club. Yeah, it's it's very very easy to hit. It's um, it's so forgiving. It's mm -hmm. so forgiving, easy to hit. Looks great looking down at it as well. Uh, we also have adjustable options that you can always yeah. play around with as well. So it still has the eight different options with the sleeve. So we've got that hidden flat setting for those players that have that higher swing speed that maybe normally draw the ball with a hybrid, mm -hmm. uh, where you can always adjust the flat setting around. Yeah. We've also got the loft adjustments, so we can plus or minus up to a, hundred, a degree and a half. Yeah. Uh, so we can move those around there as well to reduce or increase spin or increase height and carry right. distance there as well. So yeah. there's plenty of things that you can do with this hybrid. It's forgiving and looks great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, for the sake of this, we're just kind of testing the standard settings, but there is so many different directions you can go with now the adjustable settings on the, the hosel there. Um, and you can, of course, throw out your bag too, depending on how you want to configure your set, but you could have, you know, two, three, four, five, six of these hybrids in your bag if that's the way the gapping works, if that's what you need in terms of launch, spin, distance. You could get all these in your bag and be set up really well because, again, this performance looks pretty darn good. Yeah, so what we noticed is when I caught a little bit more on the toe side compared to my other shots, is that spin rate kind of stayed down. It's usually what you kind of expect. But when yeah. I caught a little lower on the face, the spin rate actually kind of dropped a little bit, which is really kind of interesting. Now, for a player that may that they get it really low on the face, it's probably going to spin a little bit more, but it's probably going to spin as much as it would yeah. with a typical hybrid, essentially. Right, right, yeah. yeah. I think that's where, because, I mean, I see it all the time with my own game. You know, you catch like a fairy wood, for example, low on the face, kind of get that riser, you know, where it kind of low, it starts low and kind of rises in the air a little bit. Uh, now it's good that the ad effect is going to be decreased with the that new face and the pink fairy woods and hybrids in this in particular model as well. You're going to see that effect decreased, which is a big change that ping has made. And it's, I mean, in our testing, it's definitely proven in, to show itself to be really effective. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's take a look at numbers really quickly. Just kind of bring up. I want to. I'm curious to see how high uh, the the shots were with with this hybrid. So you can see the height. I think every single one was over 100 feet in the air, sort of what I remember. Yep. So yeah, so we'll notice the height when I'm hitting the shot, and that landing angle, a little bit steeper as well. So mm -hmm. gives me a chance to have some more stopping power. So it's carrying a little further. Spin rate, great spin rate, by the way, about 3,200 on average yep. when, when I'm hitting this. We notice slightly on the toe it dropped. Middle is more around about 3,200 on, yep. on average. Um, but yeah, it's stopping power with this particular hybrid is it's awesome. Very, very, very good. High ball speed as well, considering my club speed just under 100 and ball speed around 150. So very, the, the margin steel face is, it's hot. It's oh, yeah. definitely hot. And that was, I mean, your efficient golf swing combined with that really hot club face is going to generate some explosive numbers. And I think we saw that here. So, um, I, I mean, I think the verdict here is that the G425 hybrid is, is a winner. And... Well, we'll keep mentioning it again. I mean, it's not, this, this club is designed for forgiveness. It's designed for playability. It's designed for high launch. And, you know, you can play more than one in your bag. You can have a whole, you know, from two hybrid down to seven hybrid all in your bag. And you can be really set up for those kind of longer iron shots where you're attacking the green. You need to stop the ball, but still want to get it high enough to get it far enough. This hybrid seems to be the, the club that can really get that done for you. Yeah, so this is kind of like an intro to testing with the G425 hybrid. I'm excited to do more testing, comparing other different hybrid models versus it, exploring the adjustable options yeah. a little bit there as, as well. Uh, and then I really want to, future videos, I really want to play around with that spin consistency. So I really want to, in the future, test catching it really low on the face and catch mm -hmm. catching a little higher and kind of see what happens 
across, across the board with these. So great intro to Ping G425 hybrids. I think it's going to be great for Ping going forward. They, I mean, they're, they're always great. The, yeah. They're always forgiving. One of my favorite hybrids to test with. Fitted when I'm, we got club people. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite clubs to fit people into when they're looking for a little bit of forgiveness, mm -hmm. need a little extra help as opposed to playing a longer iron. So I'll, I'm always excited to see what, Jing, what Ping comes out with. Um, also keep in mind, if the Ping G425 hybrid is outperforming your hybrid, make sure you bring it in, bring your gamer in. We do accept trades. Those trade prices really help offset the price on the new equipment. Well, Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots, providing the feedback. Uh, one more time, I'll remind viewers to uh, you know, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet already. Uh, we love putting these reviews together and love getting your feedback as well. So there'll be a big circle on your screen. Uh, on the bottom right corner, you can hit that button, subscribe to our channel. So once again, Thomas, thank you for uh, helping us out today. Not a problem.